4 of 2016. Devastating for that community. Devastating that could kill those four little girls. A Flora uh, Arson Reward Fund will soon be donated to the town's volunteer fire department. Fund. There's the still industry. someone out there. There's still someone that I know could turn in a tip. I am begging you to turn the funds over to the state fund and please continue this reward for the girls. Flora Fire Chief Todd Trent says he hasn't been informed of the reward fund donation and has no plans yet for the money. The Indiana State Fire Marshal's office ruled the fire was intentionally set. This announcement was followed by several officials involved in this ongoing investigation resigning. Now, Indiana State Police First Sergeant Jerry Holman says ISP is the lead investigative agency in this case. But I think what the community wants to know is, are we still actively pursuing the persons responsible for this? And yes, we are. He says ISP has two detectives assigned to this investigation full time. And yes, we do have solid persons of interest in this case. But he also believes there are people withholding information. It's very frustrating for the family, very frustrating for the community of Flora. Makes us wonder what's going on in that county. Eh? Hi Grizzlies and welcome back to another episode of Grizzly True Crime. My name is Gizzard K and I've got two very special guests with me today. I've got Copax uh, Perry Freeman and The Real Don Gonzo. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks Gizzard. Yeah. We're, we're happy to be here. So yeah, it's so great. It's an honor to have you here. Could you um, please each tell us just a little bit about yourselves? I know Copfax, um, Perry, I've interviewed you before. So if you guys didn't see that, it is linked in the description box if you want to know all about his amazing career. But I know Real Gone Gonzo, some people know you, some people might not. So could you each just quickly tell us a little bit about yourselves? Shoot, Perry, I'll let you go first. <laughs> okay. Uh... Um, okay. I... I was in law enforcement for 34 years, uh, first with the Colorado Springs Police Department, where I had numerous assignments. I think my calling was um, working undercover narcotics, um, but I ended up in the homicide unit and um, I left there, moved to Nebraska and became the chief of a small uh, community for about another 16 or 17 years. And um, more recently, I got into this true crime world uh, kind of by accident. Um, I've done a little bit of writing. Uh, I've created a, a short film that I think uh, has a pretty important message, and I'm working on a second one now. And uh, right now, I'm fired up about the Flora Fire and this reward. Exactly. So we'll be discussing that. I hope you guys saw yesterday's episode. If you didn't, please check it out afterwards. But don't worry, we're going to go from the top to the bottom today. And Real Gone Gonzo, tell us about yourself. All right. Well, I mean, I just, I just have a small YouTube plat or YouTube platform, um, adventure media page, and I use my skill set in um, adventure running and um, search and rescue to kind of help out on true crime cases that are active and ongoing. And uh, I've worked on several cases. I got four that I really tune into right now that are active, and I've been a part of about eight of the major true crime cases that are in the uh in the media in the last few years um including valo daybell gabby petito um suzanne morphew case in colorado yes. and uh delphi as well and yeah mm -hmm. i'm with perry um we're we're interested in uh shining some light on some issues that are going on in flora right now so this is uh this is the, 
this is the platform to be at today to see what we can do to help raise some awareness. So. Yes, Grizzlies, we've got lots of faith in you guys to take some uh, massive and determined action after hearing about all this corruption and some of the red flags, which we went over some of it yesterday as well. We did some homework. If you missed it again, please check it out because uh, we covered a lot of articles and things like that and news clips. But today I thought to deep dive and or we'll go into the this flora corruption. Um, maybe we could play the clip um, that I showed you guys earlier. Let's just go to this one just so that everyone understands why we're here and why we're discussing this okay so shall i play it let's do it just to the beginning here we go a flora arson reward fund will soon be donated to the town's volunteer fire department as news 18's joe paul reports some members of the volunteer fundraising group want to see the money go elsewhere the six-year mark is approaching on a tragic fire here at this flora home that killed four girls Several months after their deaths, investigators ruled the cause of the fire as arson. The victims were Kiani, Cariel, Kiara, and Kiana. When Kathy Clendenning helped to start a reward fund in 2017, she never imagined the person responsible would remain on the loose nearly six years later. The Flora Four Angels Committee has raised about $18,000 since then for information leading to an arrest. But under an agreement with the committee's umbrella nonprofit organization, the Flora Community Club, that money after five years must be donated to the Flora Monroe Township Volunteer Fire Department. Clint Denning is now pleading with fire officials to donate that money to a separate state reward fund. There's still someone out there. There's still someone that I know could turn in a tip. I am begging you to turn the funds over to the state fund and please continue this reward for the girls. In a statement, a lawyer representing the Flora Community Club said the organization is legally obligated to distribute the funds as promised. Indiana State Police confirmed the Flora Four Angels Fund is separate from a $5,000 reward fund handled by Indiana State Police. The fire remains under investigation and anyone with information should call 1-800-382-4628. Reporting in Flora, Joe Paul, News 18. Oh, that's just Flora Fire Chief Todd Trent says he hasn't been informed of the reward fund donation and has no plans yet for the money. What? Okay, <laughs> so that can kick off the conversation, I guess. <laughs> Let us know your thoughts. <laughs> I'll let you take off, Perry. Well, this Flora fire has been on my agenda ever since I first learned about it. Uh, anytime I've been on anybody's show and numerous times on my um, lives or, or uh, videos, I've talked about it. But it was suspicious from the get-go. I mean, the latest incident is this reward situation. But this all starts back um, on November 21st of uh, 16 with the slow response from the fire department. They're just a block and a half or so away from the fire. Yes. And I think firemen are supposed to uh, respond quickly and try to rescue Deploy people quick. inside. Well, that didn't happen. And that leads us to the 911 call, which we'll get to. But mm -hmm. um, the handling at the scene, not only the slow response, the handling of the, the, the girls, unfortunately, after they were recovered. Um, being determined as um, an accident, uh, accidental fire, maybe a refrigerator caused it. That's what the locals determined. And then later, uh, I think state fire investors, investigators came in and determined there were accelerants used. So why those accelerants weren't discovered locally, I don't know. Again, suspicious. So it turns into an arson and, you know, basically a murder of the four sisters. Um, it gets worse as uh, questions start arising. A couple of fire officials, uh, fire department personnel at least, resign and move on. And I guess you covered all that very well in your uh, little uh, teaser yesterday, your hour and a half teaser. <laughs> um, right. It was Homework excellent. Time. <laughs> Thank excellent. You. Thank you. Thank you. It was, um, it was great. What else? Um, oh, I just want to point out for those who don't know, Carroll County, Indiana, where Flora is located, is in the same county as Delphi, where Libby and Abby were murdered, mm -hmm. eight miles away. So 
there's been tremendous um, exposure to the Delphi case, very little exposure with the Delphi or the Flora fire and the four girls. $325,000 reward for the Delphi case for the right mm -hmm. tip that leads to the arrest, conviction, and all that. For a long time, it was only a $5,000 reward for the Flora four. That finally got bumped up with this 18,000, uh, this new fund. So that's not right. I mean, that's how no. much attention one gets compared to the other. So um, what else? What happened after that? Let's see. I think the local people just wanted this to go away. And um, several YouTube channels have tried to keep it alive. And some news media people have. But um, this giving the reward to the fire department of all organizations uh, is a slap in the face to the girls, I think. Mm -hmm. um, True. That could have easily been uh, voted and overruled and changed. I mean, that's what rules and, and uh, things are, are set up for. You can make changes. You just the, the organization could have voted to not uh, follow the original plan and extend it, you know, another five years or whatever. And that could still be done uh, by the fire department if they did the right thing. Uh, they could decide to put that back in the state fund where the five thousand dollars is. So in that in that situation, at least we've got a twenty three thousand uh, dollar reward to encourage tips. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know what what did I miss, Gonzo? Uh, yeah, I think you you covered it. Um, Kathy Clendening has done a lot to spearhead you know the awareness of what's going on and the appropriation of those funds and. That's, that's a lot of momentum that's going to be lost if it does go over to the fire um, department. Um, we're just looking for a little bit of transparency. Um, if there is an um, uh, umbrella cause or clause or something like that, you know, we just like to know exactly what it is, why there wasn't a, like an extension and um, just clarify it. If you, if you clear the air with a, the public and the com community of everybody who's really looking into this case and really cares about the Flora Four, um, you know, we can do a lot more work when we know exactly what's going on here, why you guys, you know, decided to come up with this uh, conclusion and kind of put it out there. Um, we just, we're, we're here for the girls and Perry hit the nail on the head, you know, um, they're, they're covering everything, but we do need more answers and that's, that's why we're here right now. So, yeah, I think they didn't think that people would really notice this right, as much as they are. Right. True. Social True. media yeah. has got power these days. I mean, especially if we all start talking about it together and it gets some momentum, then hopefully it hits mainstream media, which is really the goal that's here. It. Right. That's it. You know, um, and the timing in this whole, um, uh, transfer of the money is, is interesting because, just a couple of counties away from uh, Carroll County, we had uh, a five and a half year old, almost six year old murder case where there was an arrest made, I think, on the 18th of July, just last week. Yeah. And that consumed the media. And plus, yes. the body, a body was found. It hasn't been identified yet. Um, Karina McClurkin is the victim's name. And they arrested a Flint farmer. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to stir a lot of things up. But my point is, this Flora group decided to roll this money over to the fire department while the front page was consumed with the Karita McClurkin case, and rightfully mm -hmm. so. She deserves uh, all the press she can get. But I just thought the timing was questionable. And there's no reason the fire department, now that they're in possession of the money, that they can't make a quick decision, roll it over to the state fund. It'd be that simple. True. And then later exactly. we'll go back with the other suspicious activities. Yes, exactly. Timing, timing, timing. I mean, it's it's interesting, and we're looking for transparency here. Just answers. Yeah, the timing seems quite deliberate, especially with how they, you know, at the, as soon as there's something to distract people with, then okay, okay, let's do this. But also for everyone to just. Also, if they say, okay, this $18,000, we're going to dish it out amongst the fire department for them to just say, okay, <laughs> why is no one in the department fighting it and saying, no, that's not okay. Like, yeah. no, no, no. Like, please, we don't want it. Um, no one's Good speaking point. up from there either, from what I see. Good point. Exactly. Stand up, stand up and do the right thing. Right. It's weird. Are they all just like, okay, <laughs> take it's some nice. of that. 
it's nice to see, you know, several of these true crime um, creators on YouTube, um, you know, tackle this case and just kind of get in the deep end with them and, you know, keep the light shining on this case and what's going on right now in Florida. Um, we understand that Delphi has got the majority of the uh, shine in the Carroll County situations, but Flora girls are just equally as important as anybody else. And I think that we can share the wealth, you know, as crowdsourcing platforms, you know, we yes. can get out there and ask the hard questions and super important. That's kind of why we're here. Definitely. I see there's some, uh, I don't know if you know this channel, Mao Zidong. I've seen some of your work as well on this case, <laughs> as well as the Delphi case. Welcome. Welcome to, yeah. um, sorry if I've missed anyone. Thank you, Mods, uh, for taking care of everyone. I hope that you guys are saying hello to everyone as well. Thank you so much, Mao. Keep the light shining. All of the documents are on our subreddit. Okay, nice. Good yeah, job. Meow. Good work. Good job. Okay, and then you wanted to talk about the 911 call, which they will, from what I've gathered, my little bit of research well, here is like, whoa, they won't release that? That's weird. Well, yeah, what what are they hiding? There's something on that on that tape or that documentation on that, that log that they're hiding. They spent over $30,000 in attorney fees fighting the release of this information from the original call. I don't know what's on there, but I my imagination runs wild. Uh, <laughs> Something, yeah. something they don't want released. It's going to cause well, some problems. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you you know as well as I know is you know just from being over over in that area. You know the um, cross pollination of these groups mm -hmm. in Carroll County uh, with the Delphi case, um, Kokomo, the news in Kokomo, as well as the Flora fires. I mean some of these groups run really tight with each other. And hopefully, I mean, the conspiracy theory mind might say, Ooh, it might have something to do with Delphi. I mean, we can, we can hope that something could shake loose. Maybe they're holding their cards close to the vest on that. Um, so we, we really don't know what we don't know about it, but it's good to just, you know, get these questions out there and see what shakes loose. It's, yeah, it's important. Want to shake the trees and ruffle some feathers, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that, that's why I contacted you, Gisla. Um, you have a great uh, platform. And the Grizzlies, I know, will pay attention and light some, uh, well, that's not the right term. Uh, shake some trees, as uh, as guys yeah. says. We need to shake Grizzlies. some trees. I, yeah, the Grizzlies can can do this. Uh, that's, why, yes. that's why I picked this channel. Um, I picked 59, Fox 59, because of a number of reasons. They seem to be more tuned in to these things, as we've already mentioned. Um, True. And statewide, they look at unsolved uh, crimes. But they did me a favor. So one individual, I'm not going to mention who it is, contacted me when I first got into the YouTube world and warned me about a couple of people, one in particular. And that warning uh, kept me from maybe going in the wrong direction and um, it turned out to be good information so I know they care so you know if I'm sure you'll put it up at fox 59 news yeah at fox 59.com there's a yes. phone number 317-632-5900 probably get a recording but I just want to say this don't take if you get a live person or if you just shoot an email, emphasize that don't just take the pat rehearsed answer that the Flora authorities are going to give you. There you go. Tell them this needs to, you know, tell 59, Fox 59, you need to deep dive into this. There's something fishy in Flora for sure. Yeah, and they've been onto it because, uh, again, just from the, uh, there's so much, you guys, there's so much to research in this case. I'm telling you, it's like, it's the rabbit hole of all rabbit holes, honestly. True. But the more you go in, the more you find. And I did find that Fox 59, I understand why you chose them as well for us to contact because they were the ones to sue Carroll County for not releasing the 911 call. And they yeah. almost got it right, but then they changed their minds and that hasn't been released. Wow. There's something in there that we need to know. Yep. Um, I see it's been, this question is coming up over and over, even though you kind of answered it. Um, do you think that Delphi and the Flora case are in any way connected? <laughs> Maybe by we corruption, right? We don't, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. It's a strange uh, area. A lot of the same names, yeah. 
same investigators, that kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, so who knows? I think Carroll County is. Yeah. It's strange. I mean, Carroll County is um, is definitely used to being to streaming um, a lot of different drama <laughs> and. Yeah. They, they've been asked a lot of hard questions and I believe it's our job to keep on asking these hard questions. Um, that's the only way we're going to get anywhere from, you know, our positions at home as a crowdsourcing base here. Um, I think it's just important to keep on beating the streets, asking the questions and shaking those trees. So. Absolutely. I, I, uh, oh, sorry. This goes deeper care. than Carroll County too. It's not just Carroll County. It's the whole area, several counties. There's a, a yeah. new YouTube channel, um, Unsolved Crimes Uncovered. Unsolved yes. Crimes Uncovered. I'm not going to throw her name out there. I don't know if she wants it out there, but she is amazing. And she has looked into a number of suspicious arson fires where children have perished in that area. So it's not just this yes. one fire that's suspicious. There's a lot of suspicious <laughs> fires. She does some percentages nation, nationwide that shows us there shouldn't have been any children dying in this area, in this rural area of Indiana. And yes. there's a number of them. And it, it gets really deep. I would encourage anybody that wants to make sure you have a notepad and pen because you're going to need to take notes. She's very okay. <laughs> unsolved <laughs> crimes <laughs> uncovered, mm -hmm. much like Gisela. Uh, she's uh, on top of everything. Um, so she does her, her research. Sure. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, she, you know, she gives, she's in depth. She's factual. She's, you know, she's non biased, and that's what we need in in these um, for these awareness platforms. Is just to get the right stuff out there to the right people for the right reasons. And uh, I yes. think she's one of the important ones. And Kristen uh, behind the crime door as well. Um, she's been doing a lot of work on this case, uh, Delphi as well, um, the Christina McClurkin case. Um, she's she's really in tune with what's going on in Indiana, the uh, Carroll County uh, activity. Some people will call it the Carroll County corruption. Um, mm -hmm. You know, she she tackles it you know, directly and with, you know, respect and tact. And, you know, that's, that's what we need out here is let's, let's drop the speculation. These cases are already flooded with a lot of that. Um, and man, you know, these two creators are doing big work out there and these are who we want to align ourselves with as well. So the Grizzlies can get, can intermingle yeah. with these guys and it's, gonna, yeah. it's just going to create a stronger force as we're uh, trying to get the answers out here. So. Exactly. So go subscribe there, guys. Um, thank you, Mons, for putting this in the chat as well. The link, sorry. I saw that I also put it in. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Go click on it and subscribe to Kristen Behind the Crime Door as well as Unsolved Crimes Uncovered. And believe me, you guys know I like detail. There's a lot of detail here. There's a yes. lot of detail. You never, you're going to need some notebooks there. <laughs> Start taking notes. <laughs> and um, yeah, we've got to do our best to share as well. Do that as well. Go to their videos and share it because the more we share it all over social media, the more traction this can actually get and hopefully yeah. we can uncover some corruption, right? And while I'm here showing channels, I wanted to show yours as well. Real Gone Gonzo, here's your channel as well. So go Thank subscribe you. over there. The Johnny Depp of true crime. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. I just see everyone's like, oh my word, is that Johnny Depp? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I don't. I, uh, thank you so much. I, I don't do a lot in the true crime. I don't I don't air a lot of my um, my casework um, because I have to show up to a lot of these cases um, yeah. and do boots on the ground uh, work. But I mean, if you're into a little bit of adventure as well as a little goofing around while I'm on the road, this is kind of what I do. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. I'm out here helping out where I can in Carroll County. We're we're coming for you. So I, I appreciate oh, yes. it. Yes, exactly. And yeah, we've got cop facts as well. So go subscribe there too, if you haven't yet. Thank you as well, Mods, for sharing all of these. Uh, thanks, Saleo, as well. Cop facts. Um, you guys should know cop facts by now. He's been on this show. He does excellent work talking about the Delphi case, the Flora case, the John Benet Ramsey case, and many others. So go check that out as well. And then while I'm at it, just for a minute, they will get back to the the, the, the corruption stuff. Is Here's your book, How Secrets Everyone Has a Secret, Some You Don't Want to Know. This is Perry Freeman's book. Uh, go check it out. It's got lots of five-star reviews. And it is a work of fiction based on your experience as an undercover police officer in Colorado Springs, right? 
Yeah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate that. And look at the discount right now. I don't know if you're running a promo or what's going on here, but it's 82% off. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> right? Thank you. Amazing. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> Yeah, wow. thank you, Amazon. So it's $2.29. I mean, damn, go get it. And remember to please leave a review. And then again, just make sure you go to Unsolved Crimes Uncovered and Kristen behind the crime door. And then if thank we can you. all band together in these cases, uh, I'm pretty sure we can make a dent, you know, in the corruption universe there in Carroll County. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Okay, what did we miss? I made some notes as you were talking there, Perry. 911 call, accelerants. Could you tell us either of Ooh, you about yeah. more, more about the accelerants? What is that all about? How can they not know what it is? How is it on the, on the one dude's clothing? I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, that whole, uh, that whole wow. alley there is weird. Um, yeah, why wouldn't they release what the accelerant was? Um, that's, you know, Gonzo knows why I want to know. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. there's something about the yeah. accelerant that. Uh, unless they think, pointless. you know, unless they think it's tied into something else or it has yeah. possibility to be tied into, the, into these other fires in the area. I mean, like we said, there's many fires that are involving young children in Indiana, um, Monroe County. I mean, we got all these surrounding communities and they have a backlog of having a situation like this, this case, I mean, this fire just so happened to be um, super tragic and it did grab the news and it did grab the headlines and, you know, we're here to keep it in, in the headlines as well. So, I mean, six years out, we're still talking about flora and that gives me a good, you know, that gives me a lot of hope that, you know, we keep the light shining on this stuff. So, Absolutely. It represents so many others as well. As you say, it, it might be focused on Flora or Delphi, but let's also make sure to also focus on Flora, but it also brings about all the other cases that are happening <laughs> in the area and the That's same right. key players that we're seeing, which is very That's interesting. Right. Big red flag. We, we could go down that rabbit hole all day. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we could be here for hours, guys. I'm telling you, that rabbit hole, once you start, once oh, you start going down that rabbit hole, oh my word. Like my notebooks are filling up. I'm just like, wait, what? And then what happened? And then who? And this one knows that one. And it's just incredible. clear your schedule for about a week because you're going to be deep diving. It's at it's least, scary. at least, yes. right? Yes. At least. Wow. And that's just to consume the content. Imagine trying to present it, guys. I, I will bring oh, you man. what I can, but I'm still learning as well. I'm just layer by layer, just peeling away the layers of like, wait, what? So all we can do is yeah. chip away at it. I mean, you know, and I think, I think to answer your first question there was, I mean, these local, these small town um, police departments and fire departments, they're not, you know, they're not dealing with things of this magnitude all the time. So they're not as professional as they probably should be. And, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, investigation, it did take some twists and turns along the way. Um, we're lucky that they didn't just slam the book on it and say, hey, this is what it was. You know, state level had to come in, FBI had to come in and do their thing. And, um, had they not, we we would probably not be talking about it right now, and it would be done and gone. But, you know, those four girls deserve everybody still chanting their names, um, trying to get the allocation of the funding into the right hands, and keeping the lights shining, you know. So this, this is positive work we're doing here. So thanks to the Grizzlies for keeping it going. So That's why we're here. Grizzlies. Yeah, Grizzlies, we know. We, we've got full faith in you to contact um, Fox59 News at fox59.com or you can call them 317-632-5900. And what would you recommend, of course, it's asking the hard questions, but what would you recommend for someone watching now and they're like, okay, I want to email them or call them. What should they say? I would say Something's not right there. And uh, right, start with the reward that, that needs to be addressed immediately. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and maybe, you know, maybe the reward will get larger. It needs to get up in the hundreds of thousands, just like the Delphi case. Yeah, at um, zero, but that's at least. that's not really for Fox Fifty Nine. I think they just need to be encouraged to ask the right questions and don't take that rehearsed answer when you contact. There you go. Um, the Flora authorities tell tell Fifty Nine that they need yeah, to. Yeah, they'll I think they will. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I think they can read. They'll read between the lines when they see the. The emails yes. tomorrow and tonight. I think they're <laughs> yeah, going to get gonna... flooded. They're going to get flooded. Yeah, so. and that's, that's that's why we call, that's why we're on your channel right now. You know, we, we can get 
we can get some of the awareness out there and, you know, they're going to feel the pressure. They're going to say, hey, okay, we have to at least be fully transparent with what's going on. What brought us to this decision-making um, conclusion, you know, why we got here. If we, if we just know some of those, you know, answers, that's huge. That's better than where we were at yesterday. But yeah, I think it's important to do your research when you call in there, maybe have a, you know, five bullet points, let's, let's blow their go. inbox up. And, you know, the more pressure they feel, the more obligated they're going to have to let the community know and the public know, and all the people that are at home working hard to find answers for Flora, for Delphi. And it, it might shake loose something else on another case or, exactly. you know, some of the other fires in Indiana. Um, it's not going to hurt anything to ask questions and, Exactly. That's that's it. Who do they email? Who do they address? That is also a question that's coming up here. And the phone number, Eleanor, is literally on the screen scrolling at the bottom, 317-632-5900. So who should they email if they use that email address? Just general? Just like yeah, Sierra Fox just, 59 years? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. You know, hopefully Fox 59 will really address the fire department. Um because it's not too late for them to do the right thing. They can roll this yeah. money back over very easily to the original uh, state fund. And um, as far as what we're talking about here, that's all it needs to be done is do the right thing. Exactly. So Grizzly, if you could please um, email and, and Fox 59 news at Fox 59.com or call the number to make them aware, I think also to for them to know that, yeah, there's social media pressure and we've kind of got their backs. If they're going to cover it, That's we're it. all there watching, we're supporting them, we're yeah. we're on yeah. this with them, you know? So um, it can't just go unnoticed that the reward money, the, the money raised by the Flora community, $18,000, is not just being given to a volunteer fire department who was one and a half blocks away and didn't really respond <laughs> very quickly. Mm. That's very odd. I wonder what they were doing during that time. Mm. That's wow. what the 911 tape would tell us. Exactly. Yeah. There really could have been some gross well. negligence, some gross negligence on that. And maybe they're <laughs> embarrassed. Um, but the yeah. Flora Four Angels Committee deserves answers. That's that's it. Yes. And then to get more reward money, I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure where should we be donating to? What should we do? Is there a fund or Ooh, the state is fund? I'm not, I don't have that. Um, I'm not sure how you find the state fund. I should have had that in front of me. Well, oh, no, okay. we'll, we'll have a look and I can put it, I can always pin it in the comments or something like that. I'm just wondering if we did want to help raise more money, how would we do that? You know, so we can oh, put the pressure yeah. on Fox 59 and maybe they can also let us know how to do that. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. It, we we it, came unprepared. We should have had that. It's, it's tough though, when you have YouTubers dealing with any kind of funding, uh, we've seen yeah, it in several cases. It, yep. It's a slippery slope. Um, mm. It's something you don't want to be really closely tied to. We've seen it in the Summer Wells case and other cases. Yes. Um, but yeah, if, if we can find that, it would be, you know, we can all do our research to help uh, Gizla get that into the right hands. And then we can help kind of back it and drive it once we know it's in the right place and doing the exactly. right things. So. Yeah. I think if you, if you just search uh, the Flora Fire State Reward Fund, you'll probably be able to find it true okay sorry i'm looking they're saying look at scott's comment they say the answering machine picked up nobody was there <laughs> well maybe not today that's, right that's not good or what <laughs> that's not good keep calling <laughs> leave them messages lots and lots of messages <laughs> oh my word or emails like I, definitely wow like i said these these some of these um you know places have not dealt with you know a lot of these things on this magnitude and and it shows that's that's a big story in itself. I mean, small hmm. town, small town police departments and fire departments aren't. That's why we fund them. But it's like, who yeah. knows? I mean, we don't know what they were up against that wow. day. But yeah, it's scary. So right. And I, I saw an interview today where Doug Carter said that he doesn't believe that the fire was intentionally set to murder the people in the house. But do you think, what do you think the motive of Flora, the Flora fire was, never mind all the others? What do you, what do you guys think the motive is? Well, I, I kind of respect Doug Carter and I know he takes a lot of flack, but he's in a rough position too. Um, this fire was set at like 3.30 in the morning 
uh, knowing that the children were asleep in the house. I don't I don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Three you know, because to morning. say you don't light anything on fire in in the middle of the morning um, and not know what you're doing. It's that's just exactly fact. And it's a pattern <laughs> we see with the other fires, right? A lot of them are in the early morning hours, around three yeah. or three thirty in the morning. Correct. That's why yeah, that yeah. Go to unsolved crimes uncovered. She'll explain all that. Yep. Oh yeah, taking the notes. Everyone remember unsolved crimes uncovered. This one right here. Uh, uncovered Carroll County murder. We, there's a lot to look at here. So go and have a look, and and then we'll report back. I guess I got a deep dive. A lot of this as well. I'm still yeah. learning who's who in the zoo. What's happening here? And uh, there's yeah, there's there's a lot. Sure a lot of layers. Her, yeah, a lot of layers. Well, um, I want to, as we said before, make this as impactful as possible. So we can waffle a little bit now, but let's just wrap it up for now for public viewing. Bullet points. What do you want people like? What are the bullet points? The red flags, um, and what would you like people to do? Grizzlies to do. <laughs> well, the bullet points are just the eight or ten suspicious situations, starting from the response time right through the resignations, uh, the false um, analysis of the fire being uh, accidental. Just all that stuff is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then it almost. I mean. It seemed like a cover up. And then we got resignations and uh, yeah. just so many more questions right up to the accelerant and all that. And there may be a reason, like you said, about the accelerant. But um, yeah, it's just one very suspicious situation. Yeah, and it's we hard. really hope to put pressure on to get the information out, especially the 911 call yeah. Yeah. and really understand what happened and why all these people resigned. Yeah. It's hard to trust the process um, of investigation when you're being, you know, when you're getting just bits and pieces here and there. Um, we got to hope that they're doing everything in their power. And it's just our opportunity, you know, this is our opportunity to just to shake some trees and just try to get more answers. I mean, this pressure is going to help Flora as well. Um, it, it's, yeah, they're, they're in a tough spot. They've, Carroll County has been up against the world in the last six years and we don't want to put much more on them but i think i think they owe this to us they owe this to the committee um hmm. and that's that's just the the important stuff that we got to do as crowdsourcing platforms and creators and people that are just looking for justice here so exactly well said, exactly yeah. that's it is it possible there's a serial arsonist <laughs> Very possible. Yeah, <laughs> same so, <laughs> right? A lot of cases, yeah. at least Back four in the last mind. four years, right? But how many? I haven't even seen how many. Would you say roughly how many fires have there been? How many arson incidents involving children? Oh, I'd have to go back to her channel, um, but it's way. It, it's too many over the last uh, yeah six or eight years. It's crazy. It's one think, is too many. Yeah, one's way True. too many, and there shouldn't. The average, the national average for a rural community like. Gonzo said earlier, should have been zero deaths of children in arson fires. I yes. can't, I'm not going to throw a number out because I don't have it on the top of my head, but it'll shock you when you go to her channel, how many yep. children have perished in fires. So imagine the ones we don't know about. That's the point. We know about that, Flora, we know about point. the Delphi yeah. case, so then we That's know about it. Flora. So imagine all the ones we don't already know about. We have to fight for yeah. their justice too, which is why we want to put the pressure on guys to well, help uh, uncover what's going on there. And that's someone it. asked if it could be a serial arsonist. Well, that's certainly the direction she's looking. And she, you know, there's some similarities in these fires for sure. Yes. Yeah. I've even seen some channels do like almost like a map of how, you know, how the uh, speculative serial arsonist operates. Like yeah. within a certain mm -hmm. radius and patterns and things. That's very interesting as well, for my word. Yep. Trends. Wow. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So, Grizzlies, we really hope that you will contact Fox59 News at fox59.com, 317-632-5900. And is there any other news that you want to direct the focus on this right now, right? Because I see in the chat people are saying contact, you know, this news station, this one, this one, this one, but you want to focus the attention here so we can get some results. Contact all that you want, but if everybody would just uh, funnel into Fox59, um, yes. they, you know, that'll have an effect. Um, but no, contact all the local authorities, uh, authorities or uh, stations, uh, Lafayette, 
uh, Kokomo, all those small stations in the area. Sure, go for all of them. Yes, the other Indianapolis stations, please. I think they said W, is it THR or that one they mentioned earlier? So yeah, yeah contact but... all of them. But if we can all at least, you know, like you guys remember in the Daniel Robinson case when we all emailed Buckeye PD like that, let's do that. Let's yeah, all make noise. send an email, even if it's a one liner, if that's all you can do, just say there's something weird yeah. going on with this reward fund just being given to the volunteer fire department. In this case, please can you look into it? Even that, even that's that it. could make a difference. That's it. Thank you. It goes a long way. Yes. Yes, it goes a long way. What's Gonzo's channel name? It's on the screen. Real Gone Gonzo. Go check mm -hmm. it out. Go check it out. Yes. Thank anything you. else you guys want to say? Just thank you. It. And congratulations on you and your channel. It's been amazing. Oh, man. I think when I came on, you were around <laughs> 10,000 subs, and now you're 45,000 plus. Uh, amazing. What a great job you do. And I Thank knew, you so much. I knew you wouldn't uh, ignore this when I shot the email. Boom, you were right on it. And here we are. Thank you very much. Never. Yeah, you guys never. I would Anything you bring to my attention, I would love to bring to everyone's attention. So feel free to shoot me an email anytime. Your rise has been nothing but poetic, <laughs> Gisela. I mean, <laughs> it's it's been amazing. Um, it's always classy, very refreshing content. And uh, we're just happy to be here and, you know, thank Thank you for the time and the dedication you've put into these cases as well. So we're, yeah, we're excited. Not just this case, but all of them. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And thank you for believing in me. See, people like you really inspire me to keep going, to know, okay, okay, I'm making a dent in the universe. It matters. So you know, because I really care. Yeah. I really care about fighting for justice for victims of crime and protecting their families. You know, sometimes they get really bullied, exploited, harassed, all that. So, yes. Um, yeah. So it's thank, people thank know you. you care. People know you care. Yeah. That's why they're jumping on board. You bet. That's true. Ah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And here's the first one saying, I've emailed all of them. Good. Very oh, nice. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> do it. Yes. <laughs> Please do that. We want, hope to see more like that. And feel free, you guys, if you want to CC me in, I don't mind either. Do that. Then I can also see grizzlytruecrime at gmail.com. Right? Great. Do you want them to CC you guys in or you good? Well, let's not put that out there. <laughs> then you're going to get a thousand emails. <laughs> I'll Perry. Send it to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kick, it over to, kick them over to Perry over here. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm probably not the guy for that, but um, I'm here to help any, any which way. So all the admin stuff. So once more, we've got yes, Copfax and the Real Gone Gonzo. Please check out their channels. Please also check out the other channels we mentioned, Unsolved Crimes Uncovered. Go and check that out and, and, and deep dive that. And Kristen behind the crime door. There are some others I mentioned yesterday as well. Check them all out. Do your research, yeah. you guys, and take notes because there's a lot going on in Carroll County and in Indiana in general. Oh, my word. Thank you to the mob crew. Great job, Gizzle and the Grizzlies. Panel were amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to be on the mob crew's channel uh, later today in the next 45 minutes or so, half an hour or so. So I'll see you guys over there. Any yes. closing messages as, before I play the outro? I would just like to thank all of the other uh, creators, all the other channels that have picked up on the floor situation and um, yes. uh, keep making noise, not just with the reward, but just the whole investigation. It, um, they can't let it go. So all of you channels that have, have touched on that get back on it ask more questions um keep it at the forefront of uh, uh the investigations thank you it's all brilliant because it's such a mountain of stuff that it really helps oh. to see all these channels uncover it and if we start putting it all together man we're going to get to the bottom of it right <laughs> that's true I'd like to wow. see that happen right well thank you everyone please share this video as always hit the hit the thumbs up like it it helps the algorithm share it as well especially on twitter that really helps share it on linkedin if you have a linkedin account that helps too google likes linkedin i found out so share it wherever you can i would really appreciate it as well all of us and let's make some noise okay i hope to, to see some results everyone kick some butt okay <laughs> like grizzlies do and thank you so much for being here if you could just you. wait a second thank i want to play the outro and then we'll we'll chat behind the scenes again Okay. Thanks, Thank G. You, Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Let's play uh, this one. 